Welcome to this Football Manager 2020 video where I'm going to show you how you can manage in the 10th tier of English football. So to do this, you need to download a database and the FM editor is your man. I'm going to put a link in the description below of this video to the tweet where he has shared his level 10 database. So click on that link, it'll take you to this tweet then click on the file, the Mediafire file, which is uploaded. And all you need to do is press download. It's a small file, so it'll take a couple seconds. So this file will appear in your downloads folder and you need to move this file to the correct folder on your computer. It's wherever you have installed Football Manager, basically. So if it's on your normal drive, then just go to My Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2020, and then there's a folder called Editor Data. Double click on that and copy and paste the file into this folder. Simple. You then need to open up Football Manager 2020, click on career, and then this is the key bit. Up here, there's something called database. You click on that and you need to select the correct database. It's called the FM Editors Level 10 plus blah, blah, blah. Make sure this is ticked, okay? And then press confirm. That means this database will be loaded. You then just go through the usual procedure of setting up a save. So when it gets to this screen, you need to make sure you've selected English level 10 and above, because of course, on a vanilla version of FM20, you can play from this level upwards, but on this database, you can play English regional premier divisions and above, English regional first divisions and above, English county leagues and above, and the 10th tier and above. So that's exciting. And then you can obviously change the size of your database depending on what you want to do. Start the game. So just to prove to you that you have the option to manage at such a low level, if we just scroll down here, you can look at all these divisions that you can now manage in as a result of loading this database, numerous divisions. And if you want to give yourself a really hard challenge, then start in the 10th tier and try and make your way up to the Premier League. It'll take a hell of a long time but kudos to anyone that gives it a go. So hopefully that helped. Of course, this method will work for any database, any Football Manager 2020 database. That's the that's what you need to do. Stick it in that editor data folder and then you can play on it. I'm just going to quickly skip up all the divisions. We're in the, the 10th tier at the moment. There's so many. I mean, starting at this level is a real challenge. So if you want to start at this level, they, they go for it. It could be, it could be quite fun. Uh, I noticed Newcastle University are playing down this level, I think. Uh, so there's some really interesting sounding teams, some really interesting mouthfuls of division type names as well. I mean, it, they really are pretty hard to get your tongue around. The Thurlow Nunn League Eastern Counties Premier with Ely and Clapton on sea in there. If you spot your local team to you, that's below the National League North or South, stick it in the comment section below. I've seen a few that are close to me. Romsey, I've noticed. Um, team Solent, I've seen as well. A few teams that are fairly close to me locally down here in Hampshire. Let's keep going up. Cockfosters in the English Essex Senior League. Hashtag United, of course, are, in, are playing at this level as well. And I think the FM editor has put the players in here as well. Look, those are the actual players that play for Hashtag United. So you can manage Hashtag United in the English Essex Senior League, which is a lot of fun. Uh, Cherry Red Records Combined Counties Premier. I'm going to keep going up. Amazing. So City of Liverpool, that'd be an interesting save. Try and compete with Liverpool and Everton eventually, if you can get them all the way up to the top flight, of course. I think we're now into the seventh tier of English football, or maybe eighth tier. Yeah, that was the seventh tier. So we'll end it there. Thank you for watching this. If it did help, then leave a like. Remember, the links are in the description below, so you can download the database. Maybe one day I'll give it a go and manage really really low down in the 10th tier of English football not sure I fancy it right now but never say never until next time enjoy FM20 enjoy the rest of your day I'll see you very soon